The first time I wrote a letter to the editor, I had no idea what I was doing. I just was venting. Nobody had ever heard of the Keystone XL. It wasn't in any of the media. Nobody had ever heard of it. In fact, I called the local TV station and I said, have you ever heard of the Keystone XL pipeline? Nope. I said, I'll tell you what, there's a story there. It could be a big story. The Keystone XL Pipeline. The controversial Keystone XL Pipeline. The Keystone XL Pipeline. Battle over the Keystone Pipeline. The Keystone Pipeline. The most controversial pipeline in a generation. It's in the best interest of the American people. Protesters marched around the White House. I just can't imagine why we would not approve that. Two members of the Tar Sands blockade chain themselves between barrels of concrete. The stakes are very high here. The Keystone XL has become a household name. And it's not often an entire country can recite the name of one pipeline. There are those four, like the fossil fuel industry. My philosophy is to make money. The wealthiest industry in the world. They spend $150 million a year lobbying Congress. And there are those against it, like the people across the country who have rallied, marched, and been arrested. That's my mom. She's protesting the KXL outside the White House in 2011. I'm down there looking up at her. And this is my friend Noga. Noga grew up on the west coast and I grew up on the east. We go to school together in Massachusetts. Nowhere near the pipeline. Why do we care? Like so many others across the country, Noga and I first became concerned with the pipeline because of its potential to worsen climate change. Since our consumption of fossil fuels cause climate change, the last thing we should do is develop more fossil fuel projects like this. And because of that, groups like 350.org have worked hard to make this a national issue. We've been part of the movement to stop the KXL.